electorate. As the tussle to occupy Asurok intensifies, pre-election activities, the elections proper, and post-election activities will all be in the burner here. Our team of correspondents will provide informed reportage and talk to the people who matter across the country. I'm I'll be reporting from Abuja and I'll be giving you some insights into the resolution taken by the House of Representatives on the permanent voters' cards to be used for the 2015 general elections. But how will it play out on the web? Well, we also have, before we go on to that, Emmanuel Ireyi and uh, other correspondents also standing by. And Emmanuel Erey, standing by in Port Harcourt, the River State capital, to bring you reports on political happenings in the state. Well, how will it play out on the web? We've got platforms for you to participate and get your voice heard on the program. You can tweet at us using the hashtag Nigeria2015, or please use the Twitter handle on your screen. It could be Twitter at Channels TV, and then at Chamberlain or so. You can also tell us if you've collected your PVC or not using the hashtag PVC collected or PVC not collected. One word, both of them. You can also send us an email, Nigeria2015 at channelstv.com. Well, joining us tonight, Babajide Ogunsowo, an international data and analytics professional. He is the founder of Leadership by Data, an international group that encourages leaders, especially those in the public sector, to use data in making decisions. Well, let's go back in time to 2011. We'll take a look at how the elections played out in terms of the results. Now, a look at some of the results. Remember, there were four leading contestants there, the People's Democratic Party, which had the incumbent president, uh, good luck, Jonathan. He polled, there we see, 22,495,187 votes. And then we also did have that candidate of the CPC, uh, retired General Mohammed Ubari, who polled 12,214,853 votes. Just after him is the candidate of the ACN, Malam Nuhu Ribadu, who polled 2,079,151. And then is that candidate of the ANPP, Madam Shakara, who polled 917,012. So these four highlights the results they had at the time. Well, the total number of registered voters we also see there is uh, 79,000, 79 million, I beg your pardon, 528,040. That the total number of votes cast on the day was 38,199,219, but the percentage of the vote cast turned out to be 51%. And then there's the spread across the state. And we will go ahead and start off with Lagos. And at that time, look at that, the People's Democratic Party and the CPC, the figures for these parties, the PDP uh, leading their polling over a million two hundred and eighty one thousand and six hundred and eighty eight with the CPC falling up there with nine hundred and eighty three votes. Then was Kano, Kano, one of the biggest states also, Kano, uh, the PDP in Kano called 440,656, CPC polling 1,642,543 votes there. Then the third state, in terms of how the vote went, is Kaduna State. Kaduna, the PDP there polled 101 million, 190,179. Then the CPC had a million three hundred and thirty-four two hundred and forty-four.
Well, if you could also take you through some of the analysis of 2015, this year actually, in terms of the distribution of the permanent voter cards. There's a lot of controversy going on about that as well. How, whether or not they should continue using or voting with the PVC, or should they abandon the PVC or vote with the TVC as well as the PVC? Well, that debate rages at the moment across the country, even in the National Assembly. But a quick look at uh, the permanent voter card distribution figure does show uh, that uh, the total number of permanent voter cards collected turns out to be 54,341,000. 610 and then those distributed nationwide is 38 million 774,219 that leaves us with a balance of 15 million 567,219 voter cards yet to be collected so the percentage of the PVC is distributed nationwide by the Independent National Electoral Commission, as at the 7th of January 2015, gets up to 71.35%. Well, let me go over now and join Babachi Dogun, so all the data analysts, and we'll take a look at some of these figures together uh, and then break it down for you to actually see what's going through. Babachi Dogun, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you. It's a pleasure to discuss the figures again tonight. Oh, yes, indeed. And then uh, going through some of these figures, we've seen uh, the analysis, but you have also gone through these figures. What st sticks out for you looking at the figures in 2011? Was there any significant thing you noticed? Yeah, 2011, the first is um, we, we should all be prepared for the most, um, probably perhaps what we call the most important election in Nigeria's history. Uh, because um, a lot of analysts say this election is actually between the president of Nigeria and the president of Nigerians. And the reason why we say the, this election is between the president of Nigeria and the president of Nigerians is that um, during 2011, when we had the last election, um, President Goodluck Jonathan um, had 22 million votes compared to General Buhari Mohamed, Mohamedou's um, um, votes of 12.2 million. What you will notice is the results clearly made um, the president the president of Nigerians. However, what we will find out is in 2011, though Buhari won only 12 states, the geography of the 12 states he won was significantly larger than the geography of the 24 um, states that um, Jonathan won. So clearly, on the figures of it, in 2011, Buhari won 12 states. He won all the states in the northwest. He won four out of the six states in the northeast. He won nine states in the north central. The land area of those 12 states came to 466,000 square kilometer. However, on the flip side, what you notice is the land area of every state the president won combined together just came to 434,000 square kilometers. So two things clearly come out from this. The president won the majority in the last elections, which made him the president of Nigerians. But if we're going to look at it based on geography, even though Buhari clearly lost, um, the land area, the geography of the 12 states he won is larger than the geography of the all the other states combined together that the, that the president won. So it's going to be quite, quite an interesting one um, in terms of where and which locations um, the pig votes from. What we've also noticed is the distribution of voting during 2011. So you had, um, out of the 38 million votes that um, you had also noticed, 22 million of this came from the north. 16 million votes came from the south. At the moment, we've, um, the INEC has distributed about 38.8 million permanent voters card. And it follows about the same, same distribution. It follows, um, right now, we have, they have about 22.8 million permanent voters card that they've distributed up north. And they've distributed about 16 million permanent voters card down south. So on, on an equity basis, yes, we see that um, though a lot of people are yet to pick their permanent voters card, the voters card distribution this time around seems to follow the same um, logic that we noticed in 2011. What is just um, a source of concern to both political parties, especially um, the opposition party right now is, if you look 